Hello, I am Reyna, your friendly neighborhood witch of what the fuck, and today I am showing you how to do a spiderweb pseudo swipe. So I tried this about six times before I got to this particular tile, and I filmed every one so you can kind of see what's going on. As I continually messed up. Uh, this one was pretty tricky. In my mind I had the idea of creating a spider web with the bloom technique and it was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. So I tried a couple of things, failed the first one like I don't even really want to show you it's so bad <laughs> but I guess it's good to see where it starts and, and where you can end. So the first one failed because my cell activator was really old um so i mixed up some fresh stuff the second one it was like a bloom and it was it was okay and the third was a swipe and i was like yes i got this this looks really cool and then i tried it on the bigger tiles and the first one i did a bloom because actually that's what john thought looked better and it it didn't really turn out So for the one that I'm showing you tonight, it was a swipe and I am pretty pleased with this one. I think it actually looks quite a bit like a spider web as much as you can achieve the look of a spider web with fluid paint, which again is totally unpredictable. So contemplating if I'm going to paint a little spider on it someplace or not before I resin it, but you know, let me know. Write down in the comments if you think I should add a little spider to it. And while you're at it, please hit like and subscribe. That helps me out a ton. And then I won't curse you. Okay, I should probably not threaten to curse people, but you know, that's, that's what a witch do, right? Yeah. Enjoy. Here we go with the beat. So we're going to do a swipe. I'm going to try to do a six way. Which is nice because it's a hexagon so I can kind of like look to about the middle section of the flat side <laughs> or or the points if you want and I'm just doing the flat sides because that's how it started. So good morning. But kind of hard to see the black on the black. That's more or less because I want to keep this super simple. I just mixed this this morning. It's nice and good consistency. It's just a few minutes since I last used it. I'm going to shake the crap out of my cell activator. I'm going to use like, kind of a motion like that on each of the six. But this is a spider bob, right? It should have eight legs. Hmm. Not today, Satan. One down. We rotate. I do this on my spinner, but then I'd have to be standing and I'll kind of shit back. So we're just not going to do that. The pillow paint I'm using today is Color Place. 
It's an onyx, probably satin or semi-gloss. You can get that at Walmart. I mix it with Golden GAC 800 at a one cup of paint to one tablespoon of GAC 800 ratio, and that's to prevent cracking. The metallic black paint I'm using is Artist Loft Metallic Black. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> And the silver is Deco Arts Extreme Sheen in Sterling Silver. Both of those are mixed with a pouring medium that is HGTV Sherwin Williams Ultra Deep Base Paint to Joe Sonia Varnish at a 3 to 1 ratio. My pouring medium to paint ratio is generally about 15 milliliters of pouring medium to 5 milliliters paint. I adjust it up and down a little bit depending on the viscosity of the paint itself. If it's really thick paint, I'll use a little bit more pouring medium. And if it's really thin paint, like the DecoArt Extreme Machines, I use a little bit less. to go. My cell activator is Australian Floetrol and Amsterdam Standard Series Acrylic Paint in Titanium White. That is mixed at a 4 to 1 ratio for blooms and a 3 to 1 ratio for swipes like this one. And I'm just going to let that sit for a moment. Actually, I'm going to put it right in the center. That's it for minutes, and we will spin her out. And I'm back, and I'm ready to stretch this. Story time. So, despite my love for Halloween and all things aesthetically Halloween, such as big spider webs and big fake spiders, I actually, in real life, am super afraid of spiders. Little ones, fine, whatever, but big spiders are like, oh, no. So there was a time my husband and I went to Hawaii and we were staying on the big island way up on the northeast corner. I can't remember the name of the city. It started with an L. We get to our Airbnb, which turns out to be like some guy's garden shed. And like we had to ford a river in a car that was never meant to ford rivers, particularly one that was like three feet deep and rocks. It, it, it was nuts. Like it was one of the stupidest things we've ever done, really. Anyway, so our host, his name was Keith. He somehow magically gets us through this obstacle course that no car should ever get through, through a waterfall, rocky terrain, backwoods Hawaii. Anyway, we had this Airbnb that was like right on the coast and we had this beautiful view. There was a cliff and then there was the Pacific Ocean and then there was horses and a waterfall and like a three-story hibiscus tree and peacocks everywhere. This place looked like paradise. We get to his house. It's beautiful. A-frame, built it himself completely off the grid, and then he shows us to the garden shed. All nice, you know, it's just a nice little open air shed, which should be fine, right? Because we're in Hawaii, we're in paradise, what could go wrong? All right, so it starts to rain, and the rain gets more and more intense, and it really, really starts to downpour, and it is just going like hell after a while. We feel like we're in a hurricane. So John and I are reading our books, We've got those headlamp things on, right? Because this place is completely off the grid. There's no electricity, nothing, right? So earlier we had noticed when the sun was still up that there were glass mason jars affixed to the ceiling that was catching <laughs> all of the water that was leaking through the really crappy roof. And there was a lot of water. It was raining so torrentially that one of the mason jars, the one that was right over John's head, started overflowing and dripping on John's head. So he looks up and he says, oh, oh shit. And I'm like, what? What? And he's like, don't, 
don't, don't. And I shine my light up. And there on the ceiling, sorry about that lighting. So there right above John's head on the ceiling is a spider. That is, I kid you not, this big around. Here's me touching my face. This freaking big around. It, it, I panic. I start screaming bloody murder. I don't think I've ever screamed so loud in my life. I ran out of the shack into the torrential downpour and stood there screaming in the rain for about five minutes, like brushing all the spiders off me because my arachnophobia is just going completely nuts at this point. And I'm screaming, screaming, screaming in the hurricane. <laughs> John's trying to calm me down. Not happening. Our host, Keith, comes out of the house like, what are you screaming at? And I'm like, that's my... You know, freaking out, not making any sense, not even speaking English. John tries to tell him what's going on. He starts laughing at me. And I was like, oh yeah, that's just a cane spider. I saw him in there earlier today. He's friendly, you know, he's not gonna bite you. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a seven inch spider. <laughs> it's gonna kill me. So I eventually get into the car, soaking wet, completely. I mean, there's, I look like a mop, a very icky used, very used mop. And I continue to scream in the car, but at least I'm not screaming in the middle of the storm, right? <laughs> I will not go back in the cabin, not with a seven inch spider on the loose, which I am now convinced has burrowed and lives in my suitcase and is going to follow me around and torture me for the rest of my life. Keith finally takes pity on us and he lets us sleep in the main house. A, it's dry, and B, as far as he knew, no cane spiders running about to terrorize me. So we sleep, sleep, you know, for having an anxiety attack that was like near on full heart attack. And we wake up the next morning, sitting on the porch. It's cleared up, looks to be a beautiful day. I'm still petrified I'm not gonna go back in that cabin even to get my luggage. That's John's job, he goes to get the luggage. And, <laughs> And Keith starts saying, oh, wait till you see the jumping spiders. Uh-huh, yeah, 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 my heart's going Bleh. I'm just like, no, 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 they're your friends. You make eye contact with them and they just, they jump right over and they jump right up on you and they just want to be your buddy. What a thing to say to a woman with severe arachnophobia. I will never forget that. I will never forget the sight of that spider. Yeah. Yeah, spiders. All right, I think I've got a spider web.